Well, while he's traveled around the U.S. cooking and eating as he goes, you may recognize this celebrity chef from a popular reality cooking show. And this morning, top chef finalist and fan favorite Sam Talbot is joining us from Domaine Serene Vineyard in Dayton, Oregon. Good morning, Sam. Hey, Holly. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? How are you liking Oregon so far? I love it. You know, I'm here in wine country. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful setting. Uh, Domaine Serene is one of the, you know, it's... Um, it's one of the legends up here, so I, I couldn't be happier. So, Sam, how has your life changed since you were on Top Chef? Uh, you know, being on Top Chef was a great stepping stone. It was a really good, um, it opened up a lot of doors for me, helped forge a lot of relationships that may have not been there um, if I wasn't on the show. So, I, uh, you know, during the filming process, it was definitely strenuous and, and grueling, but, you know, now that it's over, it's, it's been a good ride. Now, Sam, I've been off the show for four years now, so. <clears throat> wow, it's been that long. Goodness. It's been that long, yeah. It's, it's been a good 15 minutes or so. <laughs> right, there we go. Now, Sam, you have type 1 diabetes. That's what I understand. Now, how has that affected your cooking? Yeah, you know, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was around, you know, uh, early, early adolescent, age 11 or so. And, um, you know, it's, of course it affects the way I eat and the way that I cook for others. But, you know, I just try to, um, I try to cook within the seasons, try to keep it as local as possible and obviously as fresh as possible. Try to stay away from you know, the canned products or the um, canned sodas and that kind of stuff, you know. And many of your favorite recipes include using those fresh foods that you were just talking about, especially fresh fruit like pears. What do you like most about using fresh fruit? You know, the thing about using fresh fruit or, or pears in a more specific manner is that there's so many, there's multitudes of um, different varieties out there and they take so well to so many different cooking applications. Um, you know, here I have a broiled pear with uh, agave, lime, and um, a little bit of crispy mint. Here I have sautéed shrimp with a pickled pear, um, a little bit of local gem lettuce, and a sesame seed brioche. And to the left, I, um, I have a charred pear with burrata cheese, a little extra virgin olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. And, you know, I'm a seafood guy, and I, the natural pairing of, of seafood and, and fresh fruit to me has just been, you know, uh, a match made in heaven. So that's sort of my philosophy. Looks so tasty. Do you have a favorite there? The, yeah, I mean, the favorite here for me has to be the pickled shrimp. If it was up to me, I would pickle everything. Um, so I guess it is up to me. It's my recipe, right? <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. that's right. There but, you go. Yeah, so this, the, yeah, this one in the middle is my favorite, the, the sauteed shrimp with the pickled pear. And um, the recipe is very easy to follow. Uh, and there's so many more, too, on usapears.com. And then if your viewer enters their favorite pear recipe, they can win a trip to Oregon Wine Country and also have a, um, you know, a tour of Domain Serene as well. Great. All right, Sam. And we'll definitely link that on our website. Just, so just head to kezi.com and click on News Link. Sam, thanks Great. so much for being with us this morning. Enjoy your time in the Beaver State as well.